Shine Black and this is Joy Nance and we participated in Tajuga County History Camp. Spoke to Commissioner Jason Winters and he mentioned that times have changed over the years. That, there's a lot that's happened in this community, there's a lot that's happened in the state and it's something that you've got to really be able to look back on. Uh, I'm really proud to be from Chattooga County. Uh, we've got a really rich history here. Uh, we have a lot of famous folks that are from here. And you know, for a small community, we, we hold those things really, they're important to us. How many of y'all have had family that worked at Mount Vernon Mills and Trine? You know, Mount Vernon Mills is the largest denim blue jean producer in the world. And that's because we had a real rich agriculture history here, and they were able to turn that into a manufacturing site. Somebody that I'm really proud of, Howard Finister. Uh, he was a world-renowned folk artist. Go to Paradise Garden. It is an outdoor environment of artwork that a person from Chattooga County created, and he was an artist. He drew, many of y'all may know some of his paintings, but I got an email uh, a couple of weeks ago from a friend in Atlanta, and they were telling me that there were two pieces of Howard Finister artwork, one a little angel about this big, about two foot by one foot, and I'm, I'm not sure what the other piece was, but it recently sold at auction in New York. One piece sold for $70,000. And this is a guy who painted on a piece of wood in Tenville, Georgia, sold a piece of artwork for $70,000. We've got a really rich history, a really rich culture here, and it's something you guys need to be proud of. Hello, my name is Naila Thurman, and this week I participated in Chautauqua County's History Camp. What I enjoyed most about camp this week was going to visit Miss Massey's farm. On Miss Massey's farm, I learned from her brother that anybody can do something simple and easy, but it takes a person with determination and dedication to do something hard and incredible. Our granddaddy and our, our daddy cured hams in the fall, in the winter time. As soon as it got cold, we'd have hog killing. And they cut, they slaughtered their own hog, cut their own meat, and they would cure the hams in great big wooden chests with salt or sugar or ever how they wanted to cure that ham uh, to preserve the meat. My grandmother and my mother and more people in the family would uh, <clears throat> come and get together and quilt. And they had these quilting frames that hung from the ceiling on four wires and they'd build a good fire back there and they'd just have a good time that day sitting back there and quilting together. And of course in the summertime we always had the family over and we had ice cream out on the front porch. Homemade ice cream. The good kind that these electric freezers don't make. The kind you have to turn the crank yourself and they'd put newspaper on top of the ice and all the kids would have to take turns sitting on that ice cream freezer on that cold ice as somebody turned the crank. And then when it was time to eat it, it was really, really good ice cream. 